They were trying to pull me down like that. And I flipped around with my fist up like I was ready to throw the fuck down. Y'all can thank Nikki Glamour for this story time because I just got done watching her story time that she dropped tonight and it reminded me of this. I can't believe I almost forgot this. It's a short story but it's one that pissed me off. I believe I was a junior when this happened. Oh, I was very like on edge at school. Like when I walked around by myself, like when I... Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to the bathroom by myself because that's where I would get into fights. Like I would get jumped in the bathroom. One day, I had a bunch of stuff to carry for class. So I rushed all the way to my classroom because it was like on the other side of the school from my last class. And I had all these things to carry and I rushed over there as fast as I could with a, like a minute or two to spare before the bell rang. And I asked my teacher, I said, I didn't want to be late. I had all this stuff to carry and this class is on the other side of school. I really need to use the restroom. Would it be okay if I went now? She said, well, you won't have enough time before the bell rings, but I will write you a hall pass so you don't have to rush. I'm like, okay, thank you so much. She wrote me out my hall pass and I go head over to the bathroom. And for once I wasn't in a rush. Usually I was rushing to get into that bathroom, out of that bathroom, which is really hard because if you've ever been in a female restroom in high school during class changes, you know that that shit is literally like walking down New York City. All the stalls are taken and there's girls late waiting in line, there's girls rushing out, like it's going trying to rush to get out of there. When I finally got to the front of the line, the bell rang. The middle cell opened up, this girl walks out and I noticed her because I hadn't ever seen her before. Not that I knew everybody, but she had like an interesting look. It's a little, I guess it's not super important to the story, but at this time, I wouldn't have really thought twice of someone coming out of the bathroom. So the fact that I just like, noticed this person, I was just like, oh, you're cute. And I went to the stall to do my business. And as I'm sitting there, I'm listening to all these girls just frantically going in and out and stall slamming, lines getting shorter, people like rushing out because the bell had just rang. Like I think there are some people who actually didn't even go to the bathroom, they, they just left because they're like, okay, I don't, I don't have time for this, I'm late now. Everything gets quiet and I'm like, you know, I'm not in a rush, I gotta pass, like it's fine, like my teacher knows where I'm at. I think I was probably playing on my phone. I do that a lot where I'll just start playing a game or something on my phone even though I'm done using the restroom. Sitting on my phone with my legs getting on them. I'm getting up to leave when I realized that on top of the toilet paper dispenser was a phone. And at the time, it was like the newest iPhone. So you knew that shit is expensive. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh no, that girl, it had to have been her phone. I guarantee if it had been there for a while, someone would have snatched it. So it had to have been that girl who had just like that I happened to notice. Oh no, it must be her phone. I didn't know the girl. I hadn't seen her before. I didn't know her name. But if I saw her again, I would recognize her. I had two options, leave it there or take it down to the office to their lost and found. You know what? I have a hall pass. I can take the time to go put this downstairs and come back. If my teacher asked me what I took so long, I'll tell him why. I grabbed the phone and I walked all the way downstairs. The office wasn't too terribly far from where I was at. When I went down, I told them I did see the girl who owned the phone. She was in the stall before me and must have just left it there. I didn't know her name. I had never seen her before. I tried to describe the girl as much as I could. I said, yeah, I wish I would have known who she was. Like, I would have gave you guys a name. Oh, that's okay. You know, at least you brought it down. And they can look at the cameras too for the hallway. So I go back up. You know, same path. I'm going down that hallway and I'm alone. Okay. I am completely alone. Everyone is in class now. I'm just doo -doo 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 -doo, taking my time because I had a pass and I was going to use that pass. My guard was naturally always up 
because I had kept getting into fights. This is what tripped me out a little bit is the fact that, you know, I looked around, no one was around. I was kind of relaxed. Like I was like, okay, you know what? I don't have to be so on guard. There's no one around. Right after thinking that, all of a sudden, I feel this huge pull, like someone, like I'm being pulled back. I wasn't prepared, so I was kind of losing my balance. But I'm a very sturdy person. I didn't move very far. Flip around because I'm like, someone's trying to knock me on my ass right now. What the hell? I felt someone grab my shoulders. They were trying to pull me down like that. It, to their surprise, I didn't really move at all. <laughs> Flipped around with my fist up like I was ready to throw the fuck down. Well, I stop and it's the girl. I'm like this, like, what the f Like, why is this girl, like, you, like, trying to, I'm trying to process everything. Everything was happening really fast. And, and she looked very, I, I don't know how to, ex distraught. Like, it wasn't angry. It wasn't like, it was, it was very distraught. She's like, where's my phone? Like, she's like, like pushing me back. I'm backing up from this chick who is pushing me, trying to take me down and is yelling in my face. What did you do with my phone? What did you do with my phone? And I'm so just taken back. Just stared at her for a second and I, I got mad. I'm like, I brought it down to the office. It wasn't really letting me answer by the way. Like she's just in there yelling. And I couldn't really get a word in. Finally, I screamed at her that it was in the office. And all of a sudden that demeanor of hers just completely changed. Like I went from distraught to, oh my God, thank you, thank you so much. Like so thankful all of a sudden. I just stood there and stared at her as she takes off down the hallway away from me. Literally looking around like, what just happened? I was confused and severely pissed the fuck off. Like, like looking back, I understand because she th must have thought that I stole it. My guess is that realized her phone was gone, went back for it, was in the bathroom, found it wasn't there, started panicking, thinking that I stole it since I was the one just went in after her. And I'm very, I, I stood out. Discovering that her phone was gone, she came out and I happened to be going by. So I'm guessing she was in a panic mode, saw me, and was like, that bitch stole my phone, and like went up and attacked me. And like, I understand being angry, like thinking someone stole your stuff, but that was not how you handle that situation. You don't just run up and then try to take someone down from behind and... <laughs> Like, that didn't even work for her. Like, she tried to take me down. Like, she really did. And I just was not moving. <laughs> even now, it pisses me off thinking about it. But it's like, I understand she thought I stole her stuff. So yeah, I've been on that end before, except I actually didn't do anything. I was trying to be a good person and brought it to the office. So it didn't get stolen. You know, because you never know when someone's going to realize their shit's missing. I thought it was kind of interesting that this is like from the perspective of someone who was on the reverse end of Nikki's situation, except different. Like, you, you'll see what I mean if you go watch her video. You know, sometimes there are good people. And if you think someone really stole your shit, then maybe go get someone of authority. I hope you enjoyed that story time. I will see you guys whenever I see you because I'm terrible at keeping with my upload schedule. Bye! My little rainbows. Mwah.